Okay, looks like we are getting started. So welcome guys, the first the first game, the first set. You would make the mic hot now. Why do you say that? I asked the question, that's okay. <laughs> Who's that standing That's all right, I ain't saying that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Golden Q. We got Efren Batareas playing our local favorite here, Mike Stilke. He plays a lot at Santa Monica House of Billiards. Uh, yesterday was his 40th birthday, and uh, he thought he would come out and celebrate by playing the great Efren Reyes. He loves one pocket. And um, this is his home room that he plays at all the time. And uh, Efren going to back cut that four ball, no? And uh, he's going to learn a lot in this match. We also got Geraldine Thibodeau. She's on camera. And uh, we got action today at the Golden Q. Very nice shot. I just got Ricky to uh, shut down table six. Because his ball pocket, you know, Ricky hits the ball, it's kind of hard. He picks up in the microphone. Uh, looks like Mike could kick under this four, but he's not going to be able to dig into it because he's up against the rail. Well, first of all, he's got to remember he's going to seven. Okay? He's yeah, going yeah. to seven. And he's very quickly playing aggressive. That's correct. He yeah. can't do that. he got to move as many balls as he can to this side of the table. When he gets two shots, the game should be over. too that this cat uh, okay cats I'm not trying to ignore you but I'm trying to work here um, I've noticed that uh, Efren has been playing with a rapless cue lately uh, as I've seen other guys playing with rapless cues also I started playing with a Raptors cue. A few people start, a lot of people now are playing with Raptors cues. I'm not saying that there's a big movement or a big trend, I just noticed it. Yeah, I picked up a Raptors cue about a year ago. A uh, year, actually a year and a half ago, I started using that OB cue. Back to what I said about Truman and you. I'm kind of jealous, especially of Truman, to be able to be in a position to have an education for such a cheap price. Um, I wish I could have done it myself. Maybe I'll be able to afford myself a birthday present one day <laughs> and to get the education. And the good thing about it is, you know, Efren don't talk to his opponent at all while he's playing. 
No, he, no he doesn't. Yeah. No, he's uh, he's pretty respectful about all that. Mm -hmm. My number one commentator gonna sit right in my face with me. <laughs> Brooks. Brooks in the line of sight. <laughs> my girl Brooke. Y'all know how I I'm feel okay. about Brooke. She's she cool with me. I got a chance to see her dad too the other night. Don't see Mr. Kenny too often. But it was a pleasure to see him. He acknowledged me too. When you get in this kind of education, one thing comes to mind first, and that is the tempo of the game. Looks like he's taking a chance here. Uh, he, you know what, the cue ball was good. I yeah. think he can see the seven though. The tempo of the game. Uh, the five goes. And you have to have Oh, no. You have to pay attention to what's going on, and they get the education that your money is buying you. You got to play hard. Yeah. You got to play hard. You can't miss nothing, whether it be verbal. You got to work. You can't miss it. Very good shot. Pocket that ball and move the seven ball away from the effort side of the table. Very good shot. Along with this uh, setting, this is a heck of a conversation piece to have at home, plan when you have other pool players at your house and you're sitting there playing the great one. A lot of people like to call him the old man. I say it not being disrespectful. I didn't, I'm not, don't be. Too sensitive. Anyway, did uh, Efren make a ball? I was while I was gone. No. Mike Mike made it for him. Okay, thank see, you. That's what I'm talking about. See, see my right hand right there. My right hand came right in and it's got things straightened out, just like a woman. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> So one zero. This type of game gives Ephra an opportunity to display, not only display, but to practice certain shots entertain the people that are watching. Oh. Didn't expect that to didn't expect Efren to miss that. Well the, you know he got the he got to find a way to keep himself in the game. He's got to find a way. You know, he's, he's coming straight from hard times. It was real warm over there, probably, a little bit sticky. Wait a minute, man, hold on. It was cool over there? Oh, okay. The air condition was working. Okay, yeah. good. Ah. I just know that at the Golden Queue, it's almost like an extreme <laughs> weather condition because it's always well, really cold here. You got to remember. At the Golden Queue. You know, Bring a with, hoodie. With Efren, though, you got to remember, when Efren goes to sleep, he's thinking pool. That's what I believe. When he wakes up, he's thinking pool. Efren's the kind of cat that he might want to warm up just to do this or do No. Yeah. He ready to go off the plane. He ready to go. He's probably more deadly when he has had time and he has went to sleep and he just woke up. 
Mike opens up with the three ball. He's uh, so probably, right, right here is where he got to buckle down. Well, you can't miss. You right. know, to if to, to miss this uh, thirteen is to die. The object of this whole thing is to win a game. To win, he got to buckle down right here. He got to make the best shot available for him right here, whether it be offense or defense. And in a short race, if it ain't nothing on his side of the table, it's time to get something over there. Let's look what it looks like what he's doing. He's working on the 12. Oh, he scratched. Came right off that eight and scratched in the corner. Yeah, that front cute. He'll be good in about 10 <laughs> So uh, that brings uh, Mike back to zero. I wonder why he didn't shoot at the 13. Maybe it didn't pass the. Uh, well, right now he's still he's still starstruck. You think? Yeah, you think he's still starstruck? Yeah. yeah, you know, he came here prepared to spend the money he he's going to donate to play effort and to watch effort. Mm -hmm. I think he has the wrong mindset. He should at least try to win a game or a set in order to get the f full value of his money. The balls are rolling kind of slow, too. Efren's hitting them with a lot of power. Mm -hmm. The balls are moving kind of slow, probably because of the uh, atmosphere. Efren's here to get the job done and get out of here. He's, uh, he's got five now, so mm -hmm. he, he needs uh, – I'm assuming he paid his ball. Yeah. The three ball goes. The combination goes. Oh, he missed the three. Yeah. Missed the three. Uncharacteristic shot. He ain't there mentally yet. He's not beamed in. He's playing down to his competition. If it was for 500, <laughs> he wouldn't have missed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he missed the ball and went and got a bite out of the hamburger. What does that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> he needs his fuel is what no, that he's means. He's letting the kid play for his money. He's, letting the kid, he's not a bad person. He knows what this is all about. He knows what this is, what it is. He got 40 years of this. He know. Let the, let the kid make some shots. Let the kid stretch out a little bit. Say he played. 10 after 8, we'll be through by 10. Uh, 13 rolled up a little. No matter what, he's going to make that 13 ball. Come on, man, play the game. Stay focused or get focused. Move the 13 up pocket and one of the two. He's, okay. he's trying to duck under it. Yeah, if you're going to bank it, bank it. Get the rock up there by the full oh, ball. Okay. There you yeah, go. That's right. He's Get the rock up there. Come on, man. Well, now he's just going to, Efren's going to bring this to the Yeah, he got to get that ball the close table. to the pocket. This now makes it easier for yeah. Efren. Get that rock up there by that four ball, man, or the two ball. Kick shot. And he kicked it just to block the 13 ball. Did he do it? Yeah, he just wanted to protect it. He no, he didn't, the 13 he didn't ball. really do it. Yeah. But still, to remove this ball, you got to kick at it anyway. Unless, uh, unless he comes across the top. But he's not Good shot. Yeah. Good shot. Be competitive. Efren's starting to I think know, a little man. bit. I was going, I was going to match up with Brooke. Tell Brooke, let's get on the camera and do our thing. But you know, she ride with Efren so much, I'm scared to death. You know, she know. The the way I heard her calling people out yesterday. 
<laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Brooke says she don't care what y'all do. Let's match up and go. <laughs> <laughs> While you're running off at your mouth, let's match up and let's go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mike's taking it up table. Yeah, but he's not taking it up. He doesn't have enough enthusiasm about this. You know? He hit one of the balls come in contact. He stopped paying attention. You got to get in the box and stay there. It's going to be a, a foul. Yeah, that's a foul. The foul he took was a perfect foul. Look where the rock is. Mm -hmm. Effort didn't like being up the table. Put him right on back up there. I mean, it sounds good anyway. That old man just went over there and got him another bite out that hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. supersizing, man. <laughs> Brooke says she knows uh -oh. what her car needs. Her car needs uh -oh. gas. She put gas in it. <laughs> You know, did this work out for Mike? Uh, Efren to just play this combo, probably, but but um, he made a mistake and the uh, cue ball came off the titty back towards his hole. Efren played a he played a combo just like that on me the other night. Actually, I saw you making some pretty good shots the other night, and I uh, attribute that to the, what I'm trying to express about Mike, the fortitude. Mm -hmm. Plus, you probably had a, a very good tip on your stick. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I use a, I think on my Pro X, I have a Kamui Super Soft. So. Especially for one pot. You know, uh, see this dude playing, man. This dude played like he's on Mars. You heard me call him a UFO? Yeah, I've but heard he that like, before. Looked like he'd been to the body shop. Brooke must have dropped him off at the body shop. His hair is done. His mustache is done. <laughs> I know. Look, he's all groomed. He's groomed and ready to go to Monterey. You can, you can tell a woman been in, been around somewhere. Yeah. Mike took a sacrifice on that. Uh, I thought Santos was coming tonight. Brooke said it was all Santos. She had nothing to do with that. That's what she said. <laughs> now, this is what Mike should be paying attention to right here. He should be paying attention to how this man pocket this ball. Using center. I saw it coming. Yeah. Using center. Yeah, he did use center. He should have been paying attention. Well, he's sitting there watching. Oh, uh, Efren only needed one ball there. Sorry, folks. And uh, that's the first game now. Efren up 1-0 in a race of three. Efren uses that angle. I tell a lot of guys, when you got an angle, the angle is the juice. But Efren has a stroke that takes the juice off the ball, even though he's at an angle. And that's why I saw him hitting the center ball. That ball went two rails and came up the table with no juice on it. Efren have moved over by that hamburger again. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, fellas. If I'm going to spend my money, talk to me. <laughs> Say something to me, man. <laughs> Shit. Excuse me. Say something to me, man. <laughs> Tell me I did bad. Tell me I did good. But say something. Oh, I see. Oh, really? What's up? Oh, uh, Brooke just informed me that he will interact. But you have to say something to him. He's not going to say anything to you? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's going to be a massacre, but at least give me some directions. Guide me. If I'm shooting the wrong shot, tell me. Man, you're shooting the wrong shot. He going to beat you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, I asked him I asked him what how to shoot a shot the other, the other day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but he only told me he only told me the first half of how to do it. And then when I missed, he finally told me the second half of how to do it. Swing and a miss. I don't think Efren likes that three ball because it's the second time he missed it. I tell you what, though. I saw him shoot. Or was shoot. it the eight ball the last game? Yeah, I think it was an eight. I saw him shoot a shot on you that I can't wait. It's a simple shot. I've shot the shot before, but I haven't shot it from the position that he shot it in because I didn't think, or I take that back, I never thought of shooting it from that position before. Okay. And uh, he shot it. Oh. And when he shot it, I saw the purpose in the shot. And I can't wait to get back to practice that shot or to shoot it myself. Mike's got to bear down. He can't, he can't afford to miss anything. You know, like that was an easy shot. He can't afford to miss. It's like you said, I think he's a little bit starstruck right now. Well, little bit starstruck. I see one of our other friends is in the audience. I forgot his name. Oh. And Andrew. Oh, Andrew Eroy is here. Oh, little hard times action walking in the room. You know, Mike is having a problem because he's probably got, what, 20 people, 30 people, stands his pack, watching Efren. They're watching him, too. So he's probably uncomfortable because of the attention because, you know, he's kind of standoffish a little, not standoffish, as, you know, just a little laid back. Yeah, yeah he, he might be feeling the pressure, the yeah. camera and all that. Yeah. He's still probably a little nervous. Nervous or not, you're going to lose. You might as well play. Actually, Mike's in a good position in this game right now. Yes, he is. Uh, Efren allowed it, though. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know... What do you think about rolling the seven just up to the rail and then just freezing behind those balls? The problem playing Efren is he's four shots in front of you. <laughs> yeah. See? He, 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 he opted to play a similar shot. He wanted to get the ball away, though. He, he knows who he's playing, analyze who he's playing. He's four shots in front of Mike. Well, Mike's, Mike's going to bring the three ball down table as well. Now he's got too much traffic. I fell victim to that last time I played. And he him. used it against you. Yeah, he used it against me. Mm -hmm. I was in a good position to win a game and uh, and then uh, next thing I knew I had too many balls by my pocket. You couldn't pocket a ball. No, nope. <laughs> I couldn't make a ball that I wanted to make. Uh, let's see. But uh, you know, Mike's definitely got to concentrate on leaving this, leaving his rock by the rail. Efren just tried to move all of it, and Try. he made one of yeah, he, he moved did. it all. Mike got a ball. Made one of Mike's balls, 
and uh, he walks over and get another bite of the hamburger. Look, <laughs> we should have put that on screen. Him getting that hamburger bite. Uh, now, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little headstrong, but you're not gonna bite no damn hamburger playing me. I'm gonna make you pay attention to the table. If I gotta steal a ball or something, you gonna pay attention. You ain't gonna bite no hamburger and disrespect me like that. <laughs> That's no, not gonna happen. No. No. I don't think it's disrespect. I think he's just hungry. <laughs> I apologize. I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> I like. I guess we're gonna have to make some rules when we play you. You know, like ten minute breaks allowed or something. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Bite in the bathroom. Now notice what he did there. He. He did not shoot at that seven ball, and the seven ball. No he, reward. You know what though, the seven ball was almost worth shooting at because he, he could have won the game with that seven ball. You gotta take a shot when so, it yeah, comes. Yeah, when it comes, especially in uh, you know. So now, after now, just has another chance to. Well, uh, let me uh, let me back up here. Let me thank Mike for bringing this opportunity to the forefront and giving us the opportunity to sit here and do this. I appreciate it and thank you very much. It's going to be a foul. So now Efren on two, has two balls now. Yeah, actually, I'm uh, I'm real glad to be doing this at uh, the Golden Q. You know, this is my homeroom, and uh, we often talk about, hey, when are we going to get one of these superstars to come out here, you know? And uh, Efren, uh, Mike Stilke just called me up, and he said, hey, man, you know, maybe I take a crack at Efren. <laughs> uh oh. He was close. It was a heck of a shot. Had he yeah, got in there? Yeah, yeah. He but he took a shot at it though. Well, yeah. He had just, he got it in there? Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's a foul too, and Efren probably run out now. <laughs> Mike's hands wasn't shaking when he spotted that ball, so I don't see no nerves. Just watching Efren pick apart, you know, these balls is is just a sight to see. Yeah, he might make a mistake. He might get out of line. But uh, most of the time when he's in a position like this, it's worth a lot of balls to him. Perfect angle on the seven. He'll just float down now. Or he might even be able to, uh, no, he'll probably come down for the 14. Oh, no. Oh, looks like the one goes, I guess. Well, it passes. I'm sitting on the line. It does pass. And from the angle I can see, he's going to run the rock right into the 13 ball. Or bag up, bag up. Yeah. Fourteen ball. Beautiful shot. He's he's that should do it. Suddenly very comfortable. And uh, that's it. Game we're going back two. to ten. <laughs> Game two in the first set goes to Efren Reyes. And he goes back to the hamburger. Mike is very, very quickly realizing how hard this game is going to be for him. Very quickly realizing. Right now, he just needs to slow down a little bit, gather his thoughts, and just slow down a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You know, and accept the education, but at the same time, try to conquer the nerves, try to conquer the people that, that you know, the whole atmosphere, try to conquer it, because mm -hmm. that's going to be a part of it eventually. Well, you Good know, break. that's that's Good what happened break. to me is that first set. He made a ball on the break. Good break. That's good. Is that going to be a re-rack? <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of people re-racking now. You like after. that? You like that rule, Brooke? I don't know if I like that rule. Oh. I, I threw that out there last time I was on the air. I don't like that. <laughs> well...
But here's the thing. If you don't like my rack, you rack for me, I rack for you. That stops everything. So, you know, Mike made a ball on the break, but obviously it's just worth one ball now. Uh, if you cannot move balls to your side of the table and lock him up, move the 14 ball yeah, now. Move, move the 14. Yeah, get you it know? away. That's don't, like a, that's a rule it, of thumb right Don't let it right do it there. now. Kenny just walked in the building. Good shot. Move it away. That's right. Now play from there. Mike is playing with a sneaky P2, a rapless Q. Rapless Q. Low deflection shaft on it. Efren has a bank. You're going to have to stiff this ball, but. Uh... You want to do something with the cue ball, right? He don't like the angle that he's got. Yeah, he didn't like the angle that he had. Oh, what a shot that was. This is going to hurt. This is the third game in the first set. in 38 minutes. I'm already sleepy. <laughs> you know, uh, I've seen a lot of champions play and a lot of uh, special equipment. Um, Efren Reyes, Alex Pagulayan, Boosty. Those cats play with custom cues, custom shafts. They don't play with low deflection equipment. Yeah, I've been I've been hearing a lot of the a lot of the uh, you know older cues are still being used to this day. You know. And you know what? I mean, I'm not trying to make a one way or the other. I'm just saying that I noticed that they don't. Mm -hmm. I don't play with one either, but they don't play with it. I believe that's five balls so far, but uh, I think it's actually six because I see uh, eight, on, eight on the table. Oh. Gonna owe one. Three, five. There's nine on the table now. Uh, nine on the table. On That's the table. okay. So then it is five. All right. Five one. Correct. Mike made the eight ball. Uh, Mike's got to be careful here that there's no double kiss on. But if he plays a good cue ball. That's a nice shot. Very nice shot. Oh. I love an underdog, man. Just let the cat win one game, man. <laughs> That's what I won. I won one game. Yeah. <laughs> Out of ten. <laughs> that, was, that was a productive shot for uh, F Effie. Mike has two. Mike doing a good job of trying to double up the ball there. But um, 
Do you think the nine goes? I think he can bank that nine and and uh, and then double Mikey up. You like that shot, Boss? Watch the rock go above the 13th right there. That's what I mean. Yeah, he doubled mm -hmm. it up. Yeah. Yeah, he can't. Uh, he can't even think about those combinating man. balls. Man, he better take a shot at it right here, man. That six ball of pass. He got to take a shot. Double kiss. That's cool. Yeah, but he left but across look the corner. Now the F. Yeah. I'd have cut the six ball over there and try to get behind the nine with that angle. You know what I mean? No, uh, I think, six that's, goes to I the think pocket, that shot's though. a little risky though. The six goes to the pocket. He did leave him that bank, though. Mm -hmm. Six. Perfect. Uh, we need one to close this set out. Just one. That's it, I believe. Two. Two can't be. It's five on the table. Yeah, he's got two. Okay, yeah. Huh? What you mean? Oh, no, maybe it was. Is that it? He's Mike, just, he's just. Look, 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 look. He's, he's flipping. He's going for the flip. All right, we're going to start set number two. Efren Reyes versus Mike Stilke. Look for part two of this. Efren right just shakes his head Q. and says, uh, I don't want to take this kid, but that's okay. Well, all right, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 